damage na ile mambo ilifanyika hapa tukiwa na wazee baya tuko nao hapa kuna wazee wengi tumabisho kwa hapa tunawashukuru tumabisho kwa yetu yakulima wamekuja tuna zakayo tuna foma mea na kuru and also other leaders ambaye wako hapa wote kwa sababu nimetoka just na babi nikuje tuweze kushirikiana nao pamoja kwa sababu nimeona hata kama tunatetea sehemu zingine siwezi kuachilia nyumbani pamoja na leaders wa wengine na tumeweza kutembea kama vile umeona the packer which was done here and i want to confirm this from my assessment and from the people from this area hapa haikukuwa na maandamano there was no maandamano in akuru ile kitu ilikuwa hapa ni wizi lakini sio maandamano kwa sababu ukiangalia hata rating ya Kenya nimeiangalia ile sehemu yote ilifanywa jana demonstration rating ya wizi yetu anakuru hapa na sio nakuru yote hapa ile ya shabab ndio iko juu sana hapa zaidi ya wizi so there was no demonstration and ningataka iwe very clear ndio hata wale wako hata leader Odinga na group yake niwasaidie that people are taking advantage kama sio nyinyi mnaelekesha wao kuiba mjue there is a problem kwa sababu mkifungulia wao vile wanaenda kufanya hiyo they are not interested na mambo ya administration ile kitu wako na haya na haja ni routine na unaona hapa ka hapo waliingia baka safuria wamebeba nguo za watoto kuna watoto hapo hapo ile shule leo walibeba uniform zao zote na ajabu baka suruali ya ndani ya wamama wamechukua this is very bad and this is a curse ile mambo yafanya wamama hapa women are crying now they have nothing nguo matrizi ngodoro walibeba soba set zingine walibeba so this was routine na ndio tunataka tushirikiane nyinyi watu watu wana na watu wa medium tusaidie showing you exactly the truth how it was kwa sababu uporaji ule ifanywa hapa ni hali ya juu sana na watu wengine wanauliza swali polisi walikuwa wapi i want to assure you our sister hapa mbele imefungwa imemwaga kuchanga imefungwa barabara kwa sababu ya barabara hii kutengenezwa si hao ni barabara imefungwa So when police thought it is on the other side of Tembwa when they were going around kwa sababu kilio ilikuwa ni kila pahali everywhere ilikuwa ni kilio so when they had here there's a problem they thought it is near the town haika kuwa na hiyo mambo wakaanza kwa ajili ya kusaidia wananchi lakini kufika hapo barabara imefungwa they had to go round warudi paka barabara ile huko juu kwa toto pandile ndio access kuja hapa naye ni wajanja wakati wajua namna hiyo the left polisi kuondoka kwenda kusaidia ku, 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 watu badala nyingine then they came back chakula mpaka ya watoto wamechukua watoto uniform wamechukua zote i think this one now tunasema raia wachukue jukumu ya kuweza kuzunguza na watu kwa sababu ya leaders from here in all tribes they are here ningeomba watu wakae pamoja tuhubiri amani yetu na niwakumbushe 27208 mnajua watu wanako county na watu wa Rift Valley what happened msikubali turudi hapo kwa sababu tukirudi hapo hii nchi itaadhibika kabisa kwa sababu kwanza nimeona imeelekezwa ukabila imeelekezwa hasa kwa kabila kupiganishwa wanasema kabila hii kabila hii lakini wale wanaibiwa ni kabila zote so we cannot blame the people of Kaptembo these people had came from somewhere other areas And I want to say clearly ukiangalia sana tunaangazia polisi wasaidie kwa sababu watuambia wa criminal wale wako hapa area hii 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 hi. ndio ilikuwa surrounded sometimes kwa sababu ya kuchoma wa mama na kisu rooting women doing what this area it has a history ni kuonekana sasa bado wanaendelea kufanya hivyo and I confirm the people who died three of them waliwa na raia na ndio nauliza makanisa na hiyo watu wa loso sasa na wengine don't focus the police 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 na hiyo waliua watatu walio wenyewe kwa sababu watu walikuwa napanga very dangerous imetengenezwa na inakunjwa imekunjwa special nini panga ndio itaweza kupata mabati ndio inakata chuma 
So hii ni watu wamejipanga kwa routing na kuharibu amani yetu hapa. Demonstration ya nakuru imekuwa very peaceful. Lakini sasa hii tuna condemn na tunauliza rais wa Kenya. Ruto present wetu. Just one thing. Wewe ndio uli hapa na kusimama na katiba yetu. Ile kiapo ulikula kusimama na katiba yetu. Ya pili kusimama na properties zetu na security. Tunaomba hii watu umewapea muda sana, umekuwa na huruma sana na ile watu walikuwa nasema ya kusaidia kutoka chini ndio wanaumizwa. Ukienda kwa matajiri huko there's nothing. But when you come to the poor wale uliangazia ukifanya siasa yako ndi wanaumia zaidi even na bibi na areas is just about rooting 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 na tunaona mpaka watu wa media huko ndani pia wanaumia kwa sababu akikutikana huko ndani wanaumia and i'm seeing them the way most of them they are sick kwa sababu ya tia gas tia gas ikutubwa siku sema i affect media i affect administration ama askari what you are now they are sick why can't we be helped ila kuku wewe sakaye huko hapa bishop muko hapa former mayor ako hapa mtengeneze group ya amani tusunguke tukiunganisha watu kwa amani tafadhali kwa sababu pia nimeona bishop nikikuangazia nimeona mpaka watu ya kanisa wakiyumba yumba they are not straight lakini utatuambia how they are not straight on decision wanasema ruto akae akubali akae chini waongee Adira Udinga. Ningeangazia watu wa kanisa. Hata kwa kanisa yenu kama Catholic. Wale waitoa statement juzi. Utaweza kuona hata hawa wakitoa kuna ile wanaegemea pande fulani. Na mjue kama ni Catholic, wako na constitution yao ya, ya kanisa. Ukimisbehave unafukuzwa. Catholic msimamo wao ya constitution yao you cannot marry when you are bishop. Ukioa unafukuzwa. Hawa wako nino naona hapa wana katiba yao. Ate ukitoa hiyo kiremba you are chest you are no 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 more wako nino tena. It is there and we respect those. Hiyo katiba na hiyo sheria yao tunaiheshimu. Ukoje kwa ofisi yeye. Kwa kikuu inaitwa kanisa wa mutaratara. Mutaratara ni kusema ni kanisa ya kufuata utaratibu. Na kama uwezo kufuata PC hiyo anasema you are to go out. Ningeomba nyinyi watu wa kanisa mnatoa na statement Luto alikubali na akasema from this side and this side wakae chini ongee. Okay. Na mimi nikalisi statement nikawaambia watu it will not go far. Kwa sababu ODM ama azimio lengo yao si kuzikizana lengo yao ni kuingilia dirisha. Ili leo Odinga aweze kupata nafasi kwa hii serikali. And we are telling Luto our president enough is enough. No handshake. You can discuss about peace with them and others lakini mambo ya hadithi why am i saying this leila alikuwa kwa tulimuingiza kwa kanu hayo sisi kanu alipokuja akabomoa kanu hiyo ni wakati ya moyo let me akakuja akaingia wakati ya kibaki alipoingia wakati ya kibaki yeye mwenyewe alifunuka mara kwa mara ya kwanza alisupport kibaki kufika katikati akaanza kupiga kibaki international watu wakutishikana pamoja wakakuja walipokuja tena mwaka ya tamu ya pili wakazungumuza na akapua shea yake kama prime minister akaanza kusema nusu mukeka nusu choo nusu nini huyu mtu ana historia watu wa Kenya niwaambie we don't want hardship kwa sababu it will not solve the problems kwa sababu ataingia na atabomoa lengo lake ni moja ya kuweza kupata kiti kuingia dhuku yako ya nyuma mimi nauliza Kenya mzima MCA walichaguliwa. Hana shida na hiyo. MP walichaguliwa. Women ndipo walichaguliwa. Eh? Na senator. Senator, governor walichaguliwa. President alichaguliwa. Nyinyi wote mnafanya demonstration ya kuharibu vitu ya watu kwani kiti ya Leila peke yake miaka yote to from 63 na kuwa ni yeye tu. Ni yeye tu. Ni yeye tu. Hakuna mtu mwingine. I would like Leila please kumezeeka give us peace in the country. Na ningekuuliza mtoto yako ako yana alichaguliwa kwa bunge na hii system na tuka support akatibia yana mtoto wa Kalonzo ako yana alichaguliwa na hii system you are brother nominated senator ako kwa kwa senate kama 
unasema hii kitu si mzuri and i'm talking like an elder ambia watu yako wote utoe watu wenyu kwanza wale walikuwa nominated tuone wewe ni mwanaume na unasema ukweli urudi utoe wabunge wote wale wanapinga naona wakiruka ruka utoe hawa mimi nasikia ule ndama huyu senator wa, wa nini wa Narok analia sana mkiangalia kwa twitter yangu analia sana anasema amenyaganywa security amenyaganywa bodyguard my friend ule ndama fumilia we were there mimi nilinyaganywa kila kitu security na gari na nilifumilia na nikasema yeso ndio bodyguard yangu hata wewe nikusaidie agree that Jesus is your, is your bodyguard wacha kulia na hata na support hiyo serikali yetu kunyaganya wa buduki na bodyguard yetu wadan nasema kwa nini wewe upoe buduki na wewe unapiga serikali na license ya serikali Lina Odinga is earning 600,000 per year pesa yake ya security ya mafuta ya mpishi ya kila kitu 600 Kalonzo the same Mara Kalua the same kama mnalilia mambo mnajificha hata kwa mambo ya umaskini mambo ya vitu kupanda juu then muidhuru pesa yenu muisukume kwa raia wale wanaumia hasa hapa na kuru sasa ama peeling for this group ya wamama nimeona hapa wameumia zaidi ningeomba sakayo na bishop na nyi wengine na former mayor mtengeneze utaratibu tuchange pesa tusaidie hawa wamama hata uniform ya shule hawana eh hata subali ya ndani hawana how can our minister like that it's a big problem mbwe jioni ya nyinyi wenyewe lakini i want to say the final word nilikuwa ngine kuongea shida yetu hii yote zaidi hata si ya Odinga ni ya mtu mmoja former president Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta na hiyo roho yako ni roho mbaya kabisa na nyinyi muangalie kwa tweet yangu wakati alitwita washenzi mimi nilifanya statement ya kwanza je si ni washenzi je wewe ni mshenzi we did that na nikalia sana nikaambia Leila wachana na Ruto wachana na wachana na, na Uhuru kwa sababu mimi nakujua historia yako unapakaka mtu mafi ananuka unamwacha unaenda sehemu nyingine sasa umepaka rais chafu former president yeye ndio amebeba hii muziki yote na mimi naulisha na nasema na namna hiyo ana habari munisaidie watu wanasema uhuru alipeana juu 40 million watu wanasema yeye ndio zaponza hii kila kitu yote why can't we agree it is true because kwani amekufa si yako hai kwa nini asitoke aseme mimi nilikuwa former president kunipea wakati yangu miaka kumi. kwa hivyo sasa mimi naomba i'm not part of that inchi vile iko mimi i'm not involved kwa kuharibu serikali and i'm not giving anybody money why can't he say that and why can't the family also tell him because if you say that and stand this country will be having peace the matter peace lakini amejificha ananyamasa kwa nini kwa sababu ni yeye uhuru mwekai kenya hata ni wa family give us a break hii watu yote wanaumia hapa wanalia mu and god will deal with you we have no power we have no money na luto atai kudili na yeye kwa njia mbaya wewe tunakuomba kutokea sema umekubali wewe ni kuwekelewa unaekelewa ama useme hilo utasema tukusikie na kama uko kwa vita uendelee hakuna shida hakuna mtu yuko na mbao mtu ama mwingine yuko na chuma we were all born together na uhuru na kuomba hata hiyo na hiyo mali yako yote if this country gets spoiled hata yako itakuwa pato ya kuharibika kwa hivyo tupe amani tuweze kukaa pamoja lakini chuki kama una chuki na Ruto usiwe na chuki na wana Kenya wana Kenya give them freedom ndio walikuchagua na ukaenda hapo now we are so scattered and finally ukabila imeanza kurudi in a very big way but i will say here hii mambo ya routing haikuwa na ukabila routing was routing there was no demonstration na kuru na mnajua ever alikuwa na demonstration na waomba tukiharibu amani ya nakuru county tumeharibu amani ya nchi nzima you don't want to get in that route mimi naomba tafadhalini tukue na amani na kabila zote ziungane pamoja wewe ni kiongozi wetu hapa kutoka pandili ya baruti ya, ya roda shikane na hii wazee yote mtengenezee amani when we are dealing with other issues please hata nyinyi muongoze weka watu pamoja na kuweka amani nijauliza kwanza bishop waanze alafu wengine neno moja moja kufi but that is my appeal tafadhalini asante Bona sefiri. 
Mwana asifiwe. Mimi ningetaka kuuliza tu wananchi wanakuru na Kenya mzima kiti ya kwanza tuwe na amani. Kiti ya pili mimi nimeona leo isi maandamano. Hii ni wizi wa hali ya juu. Kwa sababu wezi kuingia nyumba unachukua sofa set, unachukua vitu zote mpaka hurushe ya mama mzee unamukaisha chini unabeba hurushe. Mimi ningewauliza mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu Inchi hii wacheni tuweke amani ya Mwenyezi Mungu maandishi inatuambia vizuri penda mwenzako wacheni tuache mambo mingi tupendane na tuwe pamoja na ningeuliza serikali ilichaguliwa na watu na rais ambaye William Ruto akapewa silaha zake za kuongoza inchi mchana tafadhali wacheni tupe rais muda wake wa kuongoza aongoze kwa sababu hata tukiandamana Mukata itakuja njiani tukipigana mkata itakuja kwa hivyo tunaraani hizi vitendo katika jina la Yesu ile ingine ningetaka kusema ningetaka sisi yote tuchukue mikono juu wachungaji tukemee lili neno in the name of Jesus kwa maombi si ni kweli hebu tuchukue mikono yetu sisi yote tuseme katika jina la Yesu tumekuja mbele zako tumekemea hii maandamano ya uwizi na kunyaganya watu vitu zao tumeitisha umoja na amani kwa nchi hii yetu ya Kenya na tumeitisha Kenya yetu yote irudi pamoja katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini na kuombea serikali iwe na nguvu na iendeshe kipindi yao katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini na Mungu abariki Ah, kwa majina ni Benson Mwangi, alikuwa mmea wa mji wa Nakuru. Na pia ningetaka kuchukua fursa hii na ni support wale wa Melena mbele yangu. Na kwamba tumekemea mambo haya yaliyotokea jana. Kwa hakika tunasemaga ndume wawili wakipigana nyasi hiyo kuambia na kwa hali, uh, kwa hali hii nyasi ni sisi wananchi. Ningekuwa tu ni bora kwa sababu sitaki kurudia yaliyotengwa na mheshimiwa. Niseme ya kwamba wananchi hasa vijana. Sasa si tu ni Vijana. Ikiwa kwa hakika mtaanza mambo kama hii nimeona leo basi jioni future iko wapi? Kwa sababu ikiwa wa mama kama hao wamehama ama hao watu wametoka katika manyumba zao kwa sababu ya vijana hata kutakuwa cast eh kwa sababu unakuta mama alika ya mama aliyekuzaa unabeba mpaka suruali ya ndani yake haipo kiwango gani kwa hivyo tafadhali tungeomba amani 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 na kama vile tumeambiwa na mheshimiwa President aliapishwa mchana na ana jukumu zake. Kwa hivyo apewe muda afanye kazi yake. Asante sana. Ah majina yangu ni Daniel Bet. Naishi pale. Na nishangaa kwa sababu haya haijakuwa ni maandamano kama watu wanaweza kuamua viti ya watu ni maandamano kweli tunaomba serikali waiangalie otherwise sisi tutakitokeza kuchunga mali yetu hatutakubali hatutakubali kama kitu yetu yaridiwe watu wanafunga barabara tunauliza wakiuliza chakula kutoka kwa serikali barabara ina shida gani tunaomba hawa watu Hawezi kuuliza serikali kama kuna mambo wanaumiza lakini isikuse mali yetu. Hata wewe sisi tutachunga mali yetu. Sana. Haya. Kwa majina yangu mimi naitwa bwana Zakayo Maina Waweru. Na hapa tunaposimama hapa saa hii hapa ni Koinange. Koinange estate which was built in 1974 a very good estate today inakuwa vandalized kwa jia baa sana nikiangalia vizuri hii nimeona sio maandamano hawa ni watu ya kupora watu ya kuharibu kwa jia baa sana na mimi ningeeleza Raila kiumbwa kama ni umbwa amefungulia watu yake wakuje wakiumauma watu wakifanya hizo vitu hiyo umbwa yake afunge kwa sababu watu wakikasirika 
hata sisi tutaweza kufungulia mbwa na yume kwa hivyo tunakueleza Raila hiyo maneno unafanya uache kabisa na wewe madhakaruwa haujachaguliwa hauna kura kazi yako tu ni kurukaruka tu kama moda hasimu enda huko kwenye ugeshogo uone ulipata ni nothing ni kitu gani unakuja kutueleza siku ya leo hakuna kitu hata kimoja unakuja kutueleza na mimi nataka kusema Ruto aliwini uchaguzi Raila ukubali nuzumukane wakati huu hakuna hata kidogo hata hapa duko na mimi ndio nilikuwa nasimamia hapa na Kuru West wewe Raila ulipata 33 Ruto akapata 29 na tukakubali hakuna kitu tumefanya you got 29000 we Ruto got 29000 vote you got that 2000 vote na sisi tukakubali na hakuna hata kitu kimoja tulifanya ukubali iko uchaguzi not kutoka 1982 unaenda unapidua serikali hata siku ya leo tu inaendelea na muna hiyo tunakueleza hii maneno yako bwana Raila wacha kabisa na sisi kama wananakuru tumekasirisha tumekasirika kabisa na hatutaki kuona hii kitu ama hii kitendo ikiendelea mbele na mimi na hizi watu ya nakuru tuweke amani tuzishikwe na ile maneno ilikuwa kwa 207 apa ilikuwa maneno baya sana na ilikuja hata ikaniguza watu wakakuja kwangu wakakula mahindi yangu 200 device wakakula maharagwa yangu gonia gonia mia moja na hawa watu wote siku hiyo walikuwa pamoja sasa mimi na hapa wananchi wanakuru live in peace na tutaendelea na tuendelee mbele saa hii tuko tulipatiwa ile fertilizer ya subsidy saa hii nilienda kwangu kwa hapa na nikavuja mahindi huko kwa na nikakula sasa yule unaona mtu ya hajafanya kazi ndio unaona tu anakaa tu namna hiyo kama ukulima hiyo maneno tu ita, itaendelea na utazidi tu kuwa na jaa ambao haina kifani watu wafanya kazi na waendele na tuendelee kwa kazi nzuri basi mmesikia hiyo ndiyo sauti ya watu ya nakuru na ningemalizia kusema Raila Odinga ile mtu angekuwa anapigana naye zaidi ni uhuru kwa sababu uhuru instrument of power alichukua mchana na akapea mtu na sasa yeye anacomplain amejikana na watu kusema uchaguzi haikuwa ya haki wewe kwani ulikuwa na kichaa ukihand over the instrument of power you know you are bringing confusion to us eh finally nataka watu wa media ile mambo watu wanasikia waache mambo ya media i agree mnafanya kazi kulingana na information ile mnapata lakini ningeomba hii mambo ya hii masimu ma tweeting na nini na facebook na nini waweza kujua kitu moja na international body don't follow people of twitter kama ni watu ya koti kubwa ya ulimwengu you have chance to come now and supervise ni watu gani wanafanya nini sasa hivi naona wamehakisha moto wameanza kusema sasa hapana watu ya Kenya kwanza ndio wanatakiwa kupeleka kwa ICC they know usikilie wazungu ni wajinga they know what they are doing but don't follow the twitter come with the ground and find out you went na dia mazingine zote za nje kujeni usikize mambo ya ukweli ili tuweze kwenda mbele lakini tumesikizana sisi wote tutakutana na mtapanga tufanye amani tumekubaliana hiyo hiyo tumekubaliana kabisa tukweli mkono mseme tumekubaliana kuweka amani tumekubaliana tuweke amani tuweke amani na tuweka wachungaji wetu mbele na media tuiweke mbele pia iangazie ukweli na ile kazi tunafanya si kweli Mungu awabariki na Mungu awe nanyi lakini pipi mimi hata kama bishop ameomba na mama wana walikuwa na kama simulimaliza wewe Unajua unaona hawa mama wengine walikuwa wametoka Sudan na wametoka kwao kwa sababu ya vita na shida. Waliamua akaona hapa kuna amani sasa wakirudi wakuje hapo wakuti hakuna amani. Na sisi tumekubalia hao watoto wao wanasoma hapa, hao wanaishi hapa, wametorokea kwa sababu hakuna amani. Tena sisi hapa tuwape na tuwakosee nafasi ya kuisha kama wanadamu wengine. Sio ni makosa. We need them to stay together na tuungane pamoja. Na wewe sakayo na wengine muanze hao mama lazima tusaidie. Hawana uniform ya watoto yao. Watoto waende kwa shule mpange mpango tuanze kuchangia hawa utakuta namba moja bishop uweke online tusaidie hawa lakini mimi nawaomba kama utakuwa na shida you like sudan and we are going to be together with you umeona sio nyi peke yenu watu wote wanafanya nini wanayadhiriwa sina mna hiyo msijiulize nyuma 
tutajaribu na nitakuja hapa hapa tujaribu kuambia serikali wapee nyinyi chakula tusaidie serikali tuweze kuona ni mambo gani tutasaidia hawa kwa sababu tumeona shida na nyinyi wenye watu wa media tulimeona huko kuliona huko mlorongo kuchoma nyumba ya, ya chifu nyumba ya vipande nyumba ya dio hiyo ndio demonstration i think we are going to the wrong direction tusaidiana kwa maombi na tuweze kukaa pamoja watu wa media mungu awabariki mimi sitaki tukigane na hii watu wa media unafanya kazi yenu i don't want that sisi wacha tuache aliyopita yaliyopita si si wale tuangalie hali yako nini let's respect people of the media sio statement tukitoa kila moja tunapiga media tunafanya mambo yale mengine mimi hata nikiwa kwa hii serikali kama kitu itafanyika vibaya kuharibu hii serikali count on me nitasimama na niseme hata nikiwa UDA nitasema hii kitu ni mbaya because mimi nabakisha mambo mahili kusema ukweli na kujipanga kwenda vigoni God bless you. <laughs>